Hi there. Do a few more potato reveals. I've got two different seed lots with a couple of plants each that are uh, harvestable. There's, uh, first of all, we're going to start with this um, seed lot here, which is a uh, TPS seed lot that's a cross between Igorota and Tolokan. So Igorota is a very important uh, Filipino potato that was developed by the CIP. And Tolokan is another blight-resistant potato, late blight-resistant potato, that was developed by the uh, National Potato Program in Mexico. Blight is actually uh, native to Mexico. So a blight-resistant potato from Mexico is um, got to be very, very blight-resistant indeed. Yeah, so let's just get started. I actually wouldn't be terribly shocked if these didn't amount to much. If, in fact, if none of the potatoes that we dig in this video uh, don't amount to much, because it seems like these ones that are drying down first, so that's pretty lousy. One got vol damaged. I didn't even notice it on the surface there. Also fairly damaged. Decent sized potato. That looks like it's coming from next door. So, yeah. So, not very interesting yield. Not even worth weighing, really. Okay, next, there's a potato here. So there ought to be a potato here. Looks like my mulch was a little thin. We got a lot of grass that's come back up. So that might also indicate that the uh, plant that was here, was supposed to be here, died. There's a tiny pair of potatoes. I can see, see there's some perlite there. So at one time, yeah, there was a plant here that died did not thrive. I mean, it produced just some pathetic little microtubers. This next batch of seedlings is from a seed lot that is uh, Sarpodura crossed with bulk pollen. Sarpodura is the descendant of the Sarpo series, but it is not actually a Sarpo variety produced by the Savari Trust. So um, it's a Tom Wagner introduction. And then, so Nathan has Sarpoduro and he crossed it with his bulk pollen mix. I think the same year that he crossed the Sarpomira with the bulk pollen mix. So there's a few plants drying down and we'll take a look at them. Pink, very pale pink skin. Pointy.
No, I think that's it. Okay, so that's what we got. So this plant is starting to die down. I'm not gonna harvest it yet though, but I wanted to show you this right here is what is called an aerial tuber. And I'm not sure if it was created because this section got damaged or why, but occasionally potatoes will produce aerial tubers like this. Okay, kind of a nice shape. That one got sun, it was up in the sun. Pink, nice little pink tubers, kind of small. Looks like a little bit of sort of russety. There's a decent size one. Okay, so so that's not, that's better than anything else so far, but that's still not very good. And I thought I saw something, thought I saw a dead hulk a little bit ago. Okay. Purple. But those might be coming from over here. I'm not positive. So here's a sort of pink with a yellow end and another purple. So what, what am I looking at here? Here's like a little purple thing too. So, purple, what are we looking at? I gotta look at these guys over here and see. So these are purple, okay, okay. So all of these purple things appear to belong to this plant, which means the plant that was right here produced this. So just to show you, I just broke off this stolen from this plant and uh, dug up these tubers that were on this super long stolen here, branch stolen. I think this tuber was right here. So, let's get those back under there. So that's a big yielding Sarpoduro right here with kind of some big uh, purple skin tubers, which I don't like purple skin tubers, but what can you do? Okay, so right here is that plant with the purple tubers. Then there's a dried down plant right here. And then another green plant here. I'm not gonna try and dig this one just because like I was just on the other side of this plant and I dug up a bunch of those purple tubers. So I'm just gonna leave this plant until later. Probably there's nothing in there anyway to speak of. But then there's a little plant right here. So we'll get that one. And then there's another one right there. These are probably all gonna be yielding nothing. I'm not quite over far enough, it looks like.
So, whoop de doo. So this is kind of the last plant in the row. So it was closest to the weeds. Doesn't, I have low expectations. Oh, there is a tuber sticking out of the ground right here. Pretty little pink tuber. Pink. 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 Looks like that's about it. So, nothing impressive in this entire um, potato reveal. That's the way it goes with true potato seed. Okay, well I'm gonna jump into another potato seed lot because I don't wanna end it on that lame note. This is Maruta, which is Maruta, this is so this seed lot is, I'm pretty sure, open pollinated Maruta. And Maruta is a potato that was developed at the CIP, International Potato Center. And I think it is another blight resistant line. I don't know a heck of a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it's a yellow, buff, white skin potato. Um, but I think this one will give us at least something to look at. There's one potato. Okay, one potato. So these are looking like a nice round yellow skin. Looking promising, at least more promising than what we've been doing. Okay, that one got up in the air, green back. There we go. So that's a water crack. So usually those happen from uneven watering. I would have said we had really even heavy watering this season, but maybe Maruta likes super consistent watering. Hey, not bad. This one, I'm glad we did this because that was gonna be kind of a crappy video without at least one decent yielding potato out of the batch on the video, you know. Um, pretty sure that's it. So that's a relief. That's a half decent pile of potatoes worth weighing up. Okay, so let's go do that. All right, so let's just weigh up. This is that second Sarpo Duro that we harvested. Looks like 11 ounces. So I'm not gonna keep that one. 
And then the only one, other one I want to weigh is that only Maruta that we harvested, which is just coming in at one pound, 13 ounces. So that one didn't make the cut either, but it got close. There we go. So this is the one that was sunburned. Um, not surprising, white flesh. You can see the depth of the greening there, but that's still just white flesh. And then basically everything else we harvested is here in this bucket. These are some of those um, Igorota Tolokans. They got really badly damaged in a bunch of ways. This is vole damage right here. That one looks like it maybe is a yellow damage, some kind of rotting. Um, you know, and so then these are like the rest of those Igorotic Tolokans and Sarpos, you know, just, this is how it goes sometimes with TPS. These are just low yielding plants. Um, I'll just eat these, um, in like a potato salad or something like that and call it good. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.